church gives us that particular gospel reading listening to the apostles is because we don't have Simon and Jude mentioned anywhere else other than in the list of apostles. They're kind of the forgotten apostles in a certain sense. Uh, notice they come near the end of the listing of the apostles, the only one after them, of course, is Judas Iscariot. He's always listed last because he was the great betrayer. But we have Simon and Jude, not much is known about them. St. Jude's become kind of famous uh, in our own country because of St. Jude's Hospital. But we also recognize St. Jude as the patron saint of the, uh, of the desperate, of when everything else has failed, he turned to St. Jude, whatever. And uh, he is certainly that, the patron saint of those who are in desperate situations. He's come through countless times for people. St. Simon is a patron saint of people who work with wood and use saws. And the reason is the church has little sense of humor, I guess, that we believe that his martyrdom was by being sawed in half. So he became a patron saint of what are called sawyers. Anyway, we have Simon and Jude. The tradition is that they headed off toward uh, Persia, or what is now Iran, and that is uh, where they are martyred. But that's really all we know about them, other than some apocryphal uh, situations that are mentioned in the non uh, the uh, parts of the. What, are, what I'm trying to say is that not in the scriptures, but in the other er works that we have that come out of the early centuries of the church, they are mentioned. But again. The Lord first spends time in prayer, spends a whole night in prayer before he makes one of the major decisions of his uh, trying to bring people together as the beginning of the church, and certainly these apostles will be the foundation. And even though he did spend that night in prayer, still winds up making, whether it's a mistake or whether he really saw the good in Judas Iscariot, and uh, for some reason Judas, whether it's for the money or whatever, uh, turned on the Lord. But we have, again, Simon and Jude, who are mentioned there, who are listed among the apostles. Of course, there were two Simons in a sense, but Simon Peter, uh, his name was changed to Peter, so that left this one Simon. So we have two apostles who come down to us 20 centuries later who were still very important to us because they're a reminder of the not only the foundation of the church, but the growth of the church in our own time, and especially with the conclusion yesterday in Rome of the Synod of the Amazon, where there are many major things that were recommended to Pope Francis, which will have to be decided upon by him, including the possibility of married priests. I'm a little old for that, I'm afraid, so I don't qualify anymore. But, so we do continue to keep them in prayer, especially that they might continue that work of the apostles in our own time. And please stand. <laughs>